Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and what I have behind me is Samsung's The Wall. It comes in 146 inches going all the way up to 292 inches, price ranging from three and a half crores all the way up to 12 crores. Now, if you're someone that is definitely going to consider something like this, you aren't going to be wondering why it's so expensive. What you are going to be wondering is what features does it bring to the table? And we're going to get an in-depth look at everything Samsung's The Wall can do for you from a technical perspective, looking at some of the features and definitely how it performs. So let's get started. Yes, let's recap that once more. Samsung's The Wall is available in 146 inch, 219 inch and 292 inch screen sizes with a price tag ranging from 3.5 crore rupees all the way up to 12 crore rupees only. Needless to say, this is for those that want to dedicate an entire wall in their house to entertainment. But is this state of the art entertainment? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Now, the obvious thing is that this isn't a single panel like we find on traditional TVs. There are blocks of panels that make up the large size, making this a very modular screen. It also boasts of something Samsung calls black seal technology, which not only creates a uniform black canvas, but also protects the display from external elements like dust and the occasional palm print. In the amount of time we spent with the display, there was not once where we thought the blacks looked off and we were really impressed with its performance. Apart from having a resolution of 4K, 6K and 8K respectively for the three different sizes, the screen also supports HDR and HDR10+. But sadly, just like Samsung TVs, this doesn't support Dolby Vision. Powering the display is Samsung's Quantum Processor 8K. It has a way of adjusting the image without adding information to make it look good. So if you truly play a low resolution image or video on this display, it won't magically look great. The wall also brings with it a refresh rate of 120 Hz. So if you have a PC or a capable gaming console, then you can take advantage of the higher refresh rate on this display. Now coming to the performance, the wall has a life of 1 lakh hours. So if you keep this display on for 24 hours a day, it will last you for about 10 years. Since the wall brings with it Samsung's ambient mode where you can use it to display your family photos or even wall art, then yes, it will die in a decade. But if used sparingly, it can last longer. The wall is divided into two modes, entertainment mode and ambient mode. Like we said, the ambient mode will let you use the device to display wall art, a waterfall, picture of your family and more. I mean, if you are going to dedicate a wall to this, then you may as well use it as much as possible. But remember, one lakh hours of life. Next up is the entertainment mode and this is where you can watch content like movies and TV shows from streaming services which are built into the UI of the wall. If you have used a Samsung TV in the past then you will feel right at home with the UI. From Amazon Prime to Netflix and even the Apple TV app, all are there with the option to download more apps. We did spend some time consuming content on Samsung's wall and immersively breathtaking is the best way to describe it. I tried my best to find the lines, the cracks that join the various panels that make up the wall and all my efforts were thwarted. It was only when I specifically focused light on the display that I could make out the lines. Not even in pitch dark scenes can one see the lines that join these panels. It is truly impressive what Samsung has done. It has Samsung's one connect box like setup for all your sources so you don't have to worry about cluttering the wall with input devices. The input devices could literally be in another room if you so desire. The remote control that comes with the wall is very similar to the Samsung TV remote we have seen in the past. One thing to note is that the wall doesn't have any speakers. So for audio, you will need an external device like a soundbar, home theater or a pair of speakers depending on your setup. Well, now that you know what the wall is, how it works, how it functions and uh, some of the content that you can consume on it, let us see how it performs in the good old task of gaming. We did spend a little time with an Xbox One S connected to the wall. It isn't Microsoft's 4K enabled console, so it did give us a look at the wall's upscaling capabilities. In short, don't use this device for multiplayer gaming because, you know, lag and latency. But apart from that, it is immersive for single player experiences. I can imagine playing Gears 5 or even God of War on a PS4 Pro connected to this beast and having a blast at that. But for the duration of my experience, I ended up playing a lot of Forza on the TV, which was great too. So there you have it, guys. That was our experience of Samsung's The Wall. As always, you can let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. And for more from the world of technology, you can subscribe to our channel.